What would happen if you ate nothing but potatoes for the next year? What about a decade? This video is going to talk about whether or not you can survive on eating just potatoes for the rest of your life. Make sure to subscribe as well because this is part one of a two-part series where I talk about what foods you could survive on. In the movie The Martian, Matt Damon plays a biologist named Mark Watney who gets stranded on Mars, the planet of red rocks and sand with nothing to eat. You know, as they say, necessity is the mother of invention and like Mark Watney says, Mars will come to fear my botany powers. He starts growing potatoes and successfully creates himself a sustainable source of food. I colonized Mars. But could you survive on eating just potatoes for the rest of the life. If you had to choose only one food to survive upon, would it be potatoes? In humans, there are nine amino acids, two fatty acids, 13 vitamins and 15 minerals that are considered essential nutrients. A single five ounce potato has about 110 to 120 calories, one grams of fat, including ALA, 35 to 40 grams of carbohydrates, four to five grams of protein, including all the essential amino acids. Although potatoes are an excellent source of potassium, vitamin C, manganese and B6, you'd still become deficient of vitamin A, vitamin E, B12, selenium, calcium and sodium. So, would you survive on just eating potatoes? The minimum daily protein requirements are 0.8 grams per kilogram, or 0.36 gram per pound, which for an average adult who weighs around 100 to 200 pounds is roughly 40 to 80 grams of protein. To meet that, you would have to consume about 15 to 20 potatoes which sounds doable. You wouldn't need any of the carbohydrates from potatoes for survival, but since you're already eating just potatoes, then you would still use that glucose for energy. Daily dietary fat intake is suggested to be around 15% on a daily caloric intake of 1800 or 2000. You would need about 22 to 30 grams of fat to cover the 15% of daily needs. The fatty acid content of potatoes are quite low, 1.0 grams per potato, and to meet the 10% fatty acid requirement, you'd have to be consuming nearly 200 potatoes a day. There's probably gonna be some adaptation that occurs that will make your body run more efficiently on less fat and you're not gonna need that much fat. However, I wouldn't say that that's the most optimal thing for long-term health and over the course of years, who knows what's gonna happen. If you were to add sweet potatoes into your diet, you'd get enough vitamin A and vitamin E, but unless you ate over 30 sweet potatoes and 80 white potatoes a day, you'd eventually run into a calcium deficiency. What's more, some of the essential vitamins are fat soluble and you wouldn't get enough dietary fat to absorb those vitamins from just eating potatoes. Potatoes would definitely not give you enough B12, which is an essential nutrient for energy production and nerve functioning. Your B12 stores would become depleted within a few months, which may cause anemia, fatigue and nerve damage. In theory, you could survive on eating just potatoes for quite a long time. However, you will definitely lack some of the essential micronutrients and you will become deficient of them in the long term. Sorry Mark, dipping a potato in some crushed Vicodin won't probably work either. I'm gonna dip this potato in some crushed Vicodin. Luckily, there's already a lot of people who have done this thing and are eating nothing but potatoes for a long time. In 2016, Andrew Taylor from Australia vowed to eat nothing but potatoes for the entire year. Over the course of the diet, he ate three to four kilograms of potatoes a day and lost a significant amount of weight. One of the reasons why it may happen was because of simply getting sick of eating potatoes all the time, so he naturally ate fewer calories. This is called sensory specific satiety. The more you get exposed to the same type of stimulation, like potatoes, steak, coffee or water, the faster you get bored of it. To get some additional B12 and iodine, Andrew used some seasonings, added iodized salt to his food and consumed some sweet potatoes on the side as well. After his year-long experiment, Andrew went on a whole foods based plant-based diet while still eating a lot of them spots and potatoes. So Andrew did eat nothing but potatoes for over a year, but he still returned to a much more diverse way of eating. And I think that's the most important point as well, that there's not gonna be this one specific food that's gonna be optimal for the rest of your life to only eat, because you do need like the variety of different nutrients. You don't need to eat a whole lot of different foods but, you know, some variety is still important to cover all of your bases. Is it healthy to eat nothing but potatoes for the rest of your life? Yeah, you're probably gonna be fine for maybe like a few years, but because of the severe micronutrient deficiencies, 
you probably may run into some other health problems down the line. As for Mark Watney, he would be probably able to sustain himself very well with just potatoes, or at least until help arrives, especially if he runs out of ketchup. It has been seven days since I ran out of ketchup. In part two, I'm gonna be talking about what are these certain foods that you could potentially survive upon for the rest of your life? So make sure you subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. My name is Seem. Stay tuned for part two. Stay empowered. Ah, oh, fuck you, Mars.